IDF Chief of Staff warns the Palestinians against escalations. J-Post Knesset correspondent gives perspective on Israel Beitenu's uncertain future. Christians celebrate Christmas in Nazareth and Bethlehem. And Netanyahu wishes Middle Eastern Christians a safe and festive holiday. Shalom and welcome to the Jerusalem Post News. Today is December 25th and here are your top stories. IDF Chief of Staff Benny Gantz warned on Wednesday that the military would not permit incidents of Palestinian provocation along the Gaza border to go unanswered. The army chief was commenting on the Palestinian sniper fire that left an IDF soldier seriously wounded near the Gaza frontier on Wednesday. The IDF announced this morning that the injured soldier, a member of the Bedouin Reconnaissance Unit, is conscious and in stable condition, but remains hospitalized in the Soroka Medical Center's intensive care unit. One Palestinian was killed and several were injured in Israel's retaliatory strikes. Foreign Minister Avigdor Lieberman's party Israel Beitenu expressed certainty that its officials were innocent as police began investigating its deputy interior minister, among others, on suspicion of corruption on Wednesday. With upcoming elections to take place in March, Jerusalem Post Knesset correspondent Lahav Harkov gives some perspective on Israel Beitenu's political future. Israel Beitenu's political future following this corruption scandal is uncertain. Army Radio took a poll that showed that 40% of past Israel Beitenu voters who were considering voting for the party again in the 2015 election are now not considering it or are considering it less. Uh, so the scandal may uh, be problematic for Yishal Beitano. Now, in the past, it's been counterintuitive. They, they've often done well when there have been corruption scandals because it increased a sense of victimhood and otherness in their voters, uh, many of which are from the former Soviet Union. Uh, but this time it seems not to work, especially because Lieberman is distancing himself from his usual voter base and from his usual right-wing positions. Local and visiting Christians enjoyed Christmas Eve celebrations in Nazareth and Bethlehem on Wednesday, known as the hometown and birthplace of Jesus. Marching bands, dancers wearing costumes, and clergymen walked in procession towards the Church of the Annunciation in Nazareth, where worshippers believe Mary was told by the angel Gabriel that she would give birth to the Son of God. I have come to Nazareth today to celebrate the birth of Jesus. Uh, and since, since this is where it all started, we thought we start at the beginning. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu wished Christians in the world a Merry Christmas this morning, lamenting the plight of Middle East Christians who he said are subject to persecution in every country of the region except Israel. Christmas is a, a special opportunity to spend time with loved ones and to celebrate this most festive of holidays. And as you gather with your families and your friends to celebrate this Christmas, and as you enjoy the blessings of the new year, I'm sure you'll remember those who are less fortunate because Christian communities across the Middle East are experiencing a particularly difficult time. They're experiencing violence, persecution, and fear. This has become the daily staple of Christian communities throughout the Middle East. Well, not so here in Israel. That's the one exception. And that's all for today. Now in the holiday spirit, we will leave you with a video posted to Facebook yesterday of a talented Haredi couple jamming in downtown Jerusalem. Until next week, happy holidays.